Okay, so let's start off with the building. You will need a 10 story 2x2, two two, depending on how high the ground is. Alright, so the reason why you will probably want a 10 story level 2x2 two two to begin with, at the very least, is because SAM sites will only target you if you're any higher than their level of height, meaning anything lower than their level of height will not be targeted at all. So, to counter this, just make sure you're above the level of the SAM site's height. You could go higher for whatever reasons you might have, just ensure that the SAM sites are able to target the minicopter. And the reasons for it needing to be a 2x2 two two is because the SAMs themselves have at least a 1 square radius, so if you stay 1 square back, you can ensure your mini safety. When you're about to finish with your building, or almost finish with your building, you might want to have this little landing platform out here, like so, or else this might happen. So yeah, just be sure to be careful if you don't build a little landing platform. Okay, now for the inside. You'll need 6 fences, 2 garage doors, double doors could work, but I suggest using garage doors as it makes things much more easier. When you have the building complete, you'll need 2 minicopters in order for this to work, or at least 1 minicopter and a scrappy. Once you got both of these- Buffa what? Buffa these nuts! So you'll want to have someone up by the baiting mini copper to open up the doors or use electricity with a switch or a button of some sort to open up the doors. Once you have all three sound sites locked on, be sure because during the first time or first few times you might not have them all locked on but once you know you do, go ahead and grab the other heli and fly up to the roof and do whatever it is you can do. Once you've landed, get your friend or tell your friend to close the doors or use the switch or button you use to open them up with. Then close them with that button or switch. Then you are free to loot up or do as you please on the top of the building for whatever remainder of meds if there's any radiation on the server you are playing on. Once you are done doing what you are doing on top of launch site, open up the doors, fly back down to safety, and voila, you just flown on top of launch site in probably the new best way you could get on top of launch site. Okay, there's a couple of other key features I'd like you to know, and I'll also list the things we do know so far. You can fly on top of launch site pretty much safely and also get back down safely. Something you could also do is take out Bradley from the base and also defend from it too. Now if you didn't see at the beginning of the video you don't have to worry about MLR rockets even if you are doing the trick at launch site. Now with your newfound knowledge on how to get on top of launch site quick and easy you can use that to counter people if they're doing Bradley. So yeah, you're pretty much on launch site now, as you can get all the main loot and defend it much more better than anyone else can now. Congratulations on owning your own monument. Now I've talked to a couple of people before about my SAM site draining video, and they were wondering what's the point of SAM site draining when you could just rocket their base and I'll show you the perfect scenario that could help you out in a raid. So here's Chango. He's a dirty little roof camper. We know where all his SAM sites are when we have our base set up, but he's just got the better gaming chair. Or does he? got an ace up our sleeves that Chango would have never seen coming and I'll show you how it goes. 
So first things first, we start baiting his sound sites with our mini copter. He shouldn't be able to rocket it within like the first two rockets if he does rocket. And this will pretty much buy us a couple of minutes or a few, doesn't really matter, but just enough for our ace to properly work, which will be MLR rockets, which will win us the battle just like this. Oh my god. Oh my god, he on X Games mode. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I got some good content coming, so stay tuned, or else.